Hi, and welcome to another look at what's new in Visual Studio Team Services. I'm Alex Nichols, a program manager on the VSTS team. And today we're going to be taking a look at some of the features that rolled out in Sprint 138 update uh, in August of 2018. So let me dive into the release notes and we'll take a look. So here in the release notes, you'll notice that the, uh, the big feature here is around summarizing test results. So we'll take, we'll take a look at that. But I'll, I'll jump down here to the feature list and we can kind of, kind of walk through a few of the areas and some of the new features here. So uh, I'll start off in, in Wiki with uh, surfacing metadata. So I'll just screw down here and you'll, you'll notice that um, through using some, some uh, YAML tags in the beginning of your file, you can start to add some, some uh, helpful tags to the top of your, your Wiki pages. Uh, over in work, uh, we'll take a look at this in a second as well, but in the work items hub, I, I get a new pivot uh, where I can filter and, and see some of my work as I maybe start my day. And then over in builder release, I can, I can now see kind of the, the SPAC or the readme about uh, what's in uh, the agent pools uh, that are Microsoft hosted. Skip down and go to, go to packages. We got some user metrics and some download metrics. So that, that's nice if you, if you use package management. And then we'll also take a look at uh, some of the reporting and um, I'll mention here the, the admin feature of managing your billing directly in the portal. So I'll start over here in work. And in, in the work items hub, this is a great place to just get a simple look at, at all the work that might be on your plate. Here I've got the, all the work that's assigned to me right now. I can click into these and take action. We've added a new pivot here for my teams. So if I select that, what's happening is, it, is the, the work items hub is figuring out, okay, which, team, which teams am I on? What area paths are associated? And you'll notice that the, the view shifted up. Uh, so if I open this in queries, we can take, take a, just peer in to see how, how this is working uh, from a query standpoint. So I'll go over to editor. And you'll see uh, maybe a few sprints ago, you might have remembered that we added the team areas macro, which does this kind of intelligence of, OK, what are all the areas that are area paths that are mapped to teams? This is doing seeing where, where I'm a member of the contact page team and the demo team, bring back uh, the work items in those area paths. So that, that's nice. I can get a new kind of view in the work items hub. So then over, over in dashboard and reporting, uh, we're bringing a new uh, build widget here that you can add to your dashboard. You notice I've got the old one here and the new one above. It's a, it's a little bit more visually pleasing. It's also sort of set up for the future, uh, technically speaking, um, whereas the old one support, does support the, the YAML builds, the previous generation of, of our build service. Uh, this one's got the latest and greatest, and, and it's also available to anonymous users uh, uh, set up for the future again as well. The way that you get access to that is you can go and edit your dashboard, see the list of widgets. You'll find it uh, in the build, build history there. OK, and then finally, it's this, this feature of viewing summarized test results and some improvements we made to that. Uh, the big thing here is that uh, rather than more of a, this kind of flatter list of, of just longer lists of test results, now we've added some intelligent grouping where it's possible. If you use the, the Visual Studio test task in your, in your uh, release, we, here we've got an example where I had a flaky test that I, that I authored where it, where it fails kind of non-deterministically, right? So here, here's an example where it went through two attempts, it failed, reran again because I've got the rerun failed tests attribute turned on. It, it failed, failed, and then passed. So now I can see kind of that, uh, that ordering of uh, what, what happened there. All right, so that's it for uh, this edition here. And I, I want to encourage you to go ahead and uh, check out the docs and the release notes for, for more, more detail. Um, I also remind you that VSTS is a great way to get started on your DevOps journey. It's where you can plan better uh, code together and ship faster. So um, I want to thank you again for watching and encourage you to subscribe for more videos.